Hi everyone, my name is Cole Jamison. I'm a sales rep here at Gridspace, uh, and I'll be showing you how to make outbound campaigns using Grace uh, through our auto dialer tool. Um, here in the tool itself, you'll be able to find it on that left bar that says auto dialer. If you're not seeing it, feel free going down to the description. Uh, that will have some more information on how to get that enabled on your account. Uh, so once you're in auto dialer, uh, the first thing you'll wanna do is create a new campaign. To be able to create a campaign, you'll need three things. One, a playbook that's already built. Two, a bot. Uh, and then three, a call flow. So from here, we've already gone ahead and built you know, these pieces. If you want to be able to learn how to do those things, we've got, again, more information below. So once we're jumping in here, let's create this campaign. In this case, we're going to do a payment reminder. Uh, once that's done, uh, you can then select a call flow. Uh, in this case, we're going to click payment reminders. From there, that phone number will populate. Next, we'll look at the date range. So this will be the call, the date range that Grace will make those calls. From here, well, let's say we'll say today here, May 15th, 2024, and we'll have this campaign done May 17th, let's say. We'll apply that. Uh, next, we'll go into the time zone. This will automatically be mapped based off of the browser. Uh, in this case, we're in sunny Los Angeles, uh, so it's based off of Pacific time. If let's say we're making calls to maybe customers just say in the Eastern time, let's say, we'll, we'll set it to there. Uh, she will make sure that all this mapping and those windows are gonna be based off of Eastern time. Next, we'll have concurrent calls. This is the number of calls that Grace will be making simultaneously across all of your campaigns. Uh, the current max that we have uh, is 20 concurrent calls. Uh, so feel free setting that there. Next will be a maximum number of attempts. So the number of times she will make a call to an individual uh, until she gets that completed status or she sees that maybe this number is invalid. Uh, so in this case, let's say Grace will try three different times uh, and then we'll be able to see this time frame of you know, how long she'll wait before trying again. In this case, let's have it set for three hours. Moving on to these call windows, uh, this is the time frames that she will be calling. In this case, as a reminder, it will be in Eastern time. So from here, let's say we didn't want her to call during a lunch period. We'd be able to add additional times throughout the day. So in this case, we'll change from 9 a.m. to maybe, let's say, 1 p.m. And then she'll try calling again here from, let's say, 2 p.m. until 5 p.m. Great. So uh, once you've kind of reviewed this, this is all looking good to start your first campaign. You can hit create. So once you see this here, you'll see a, a nice friendly page to say, hey, drag over a CSV file to be uploaded into uh, the, the program itself. This is where you're gonna be getting your, your information to actually be applying to the auto dialer. In this case, that's gonna be phone numbers. That's all you need to at least set up a campaign for the first time. There's definitely more information you can be providing Grace within this file, but for now, we're just gonna focus on that. All right, so for our next step, uh, we need to be going and using a spreadsheet tool. In this case, we're gonna be using Google Sheets uh, to grab a CSV file. Uh, again, you can use any spreadsheet tool to do this. Uh, in this case, all you need to be able to start a campaign is phone numbers. You can have more information, more on that later, but minimum phone numbers. So to get a CSV, all you're gonna need to do is download CSV. You'll find that in your downloads there. Be able to grab that, drag, drop into this field, and there you'll have all of your numbers. From there, you're gonna see this little red exclamation point. This means that we need to kind of match these columns to something in the sheet. Nine times out of 10, that will be a phone number. In this case, we'll click phone number. She's gonna then know where to map these things to. We'll click import, and she'll go and read through these numbers and help check that they're valid. In this case, there were three numbers that were invalid. So we're gonna ask her to ignore those invalid rows and then continue on with the import. Great, successful, and we'll be able to see our layout of our call campaign. 
So here we can see we have 97 contacts. Uh, they are all scheduled to make that outbound call. Uh, and then from here, we can hit start campaign and she will begin to make those calls. So here is our campaign page. Uh, this is actually the first page you land on. Uh, and here we'll see a campaign of what it kind of looks like while it's running. Here you'll find the completed status versus no answer, bad number. It's all color coded and actually in this little donut graph up in the top left. So you can kind of see the overall view of those campaigns. Additionally, if you wanted to get into the details of any one of those conversations, you can click into it using our SIFT tool and be able to see a summary, how actually she did as far as our GSAT scoring, uh, and then additionally, the actual transcript and live recording. So I've showed you a minimum amount of information that you would need to start a campaign. Most campaigns will have a little bit more than that. So for example, let's say your spreadsheet looks a little bit like this, maybe has a customer name, has maybe the balance that's due that you're calling about. Uh, so we can kind of show you how to get this enabled for Grace to start referencing and, and using more information from your, your sheet. Now that we're in the playbook, we can start adding the session tags uh, that will be correlated to the phone numbers that we're calling. So the first one that we're gonna be taking a look at here is after Grace introduces herself, she'll be getting to her first question. We want her to reference their name. So all we have to do to do that would be to add a hashtag, customer name. And how you know that session tag is working is that that information is highlighted. That'll show that this is a special form of text that is gonna get replaced by something in that Google Sheet. Additionally, we'll go down here to bill reminder, and this is where we're gonna put that amount. So now that we've added those session tags, she will know where to reference uh, the information from the Google Sheet and place that into the script. Once you've updated your playbook and you're ready to put in that more complicated CSV file, uh, you'll be able to upload that back in on that campaign. And here you'll see that customer name was mapped correctly but there's an issue here of the balance. Uh, basically, we need to go and find the column, change the name of that column to be able to match the tag in the playbook. So here we say balance due. We're just gonna take off that due part there. And now there's correlation. She's gonna understand that sheet and we're ready to import. Once again, we have some of those invalid numbers. We're gonna ignore those and then be able to import those 97 were added correctly. Alrighty, now the campaign's kicked off. I'm the top of the list, so I will be getting the call first. Yep, there she is. Alrighty, sweet. So uh, if you'd like to learn a little bit more about AI and what we're doing here at Gridspace, uh, learn more about Grace and how we're helping organizations automate outbound and inbound calls, uh, feel free subscribing. If you have any questions, feel free to put them down in the comments. I always love reading through and being able to help our customers. Uh, and with that, again, Cole Jamison, one of our sales team leads over here at Gridspace. Hello, thank you for calling Gridspace's YouTube channel. Did you make sure they liked the video and smash that subscribe button? Yes, I did. And ask them to leave any questions or thoughts in the comments. It helps me a ton. Thank you for watching. And if you'd like to talk to me yourself, go to gridspace.com and click on any one of our demos. Thank you and talk to you soon. Thank you, Grace.